There's no end in sight to the tug of war between LIV Golf and the PGA Tour as stars from both camps continue to fire shots at each other. This time around, it's Rory McIlroy who's slamming his former colleagues for betraying him in the tour. Oh, and apparently he's managing to offend some people. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Irishman's scathing comments and an equally harsh reply, so keep watching. First off, McIlroy doesn't like the big golfing divide. It's been a spectacular year for Rory McIlroy, as he's not only managed managed to win actual tournaments like the CJ Cup, but he's also climbed all the way to the top of the world rankings. What makes his rise so incredible though is the fact that literally no one saw it coming. Seriously, even the guy himself said that he couldn't have predicted such an insane turnaround. Plus, you rarely see athletes make a comeback after a decade-long period of dormancy. That said, the golf course isn't the only area where he's made an impressive U-turn. If you're unaware, the Irishman's been super critical about LIV golf over the past few months, as a matter of fact, he's even gone as far as to say that it's a total sham and doesn't have a place in the golfing world. But now, he seems to have a change of heart, as according to him, the conflict isn't actually helping anyone. Speaking to The Guardian, the world number one said the us versus them thing has kind of gotten out of control already. Plus, if the two entities continue to double down in both directions, it's going to open a rift that, frankly, he's not sure there's any coming back from. So, while everyone's got their petty vendettas and arguments against each other, it's only going to fracture the sport, which, of course, no one really wants. What's more, the 33-year-old also laid down the fact that this has gone past verbal spats, referring to the antitrust lawsuit, and to restore order, we've got a lot of work to do. Up next, McElroy goes against his own advice. Now, we're not quite sure what demon possessed Rory McElroy, because right after giving a long-winded speech about peace and love, he decided to take aim at his former colleagues. Apparently, he feels like he's been betrayed. How? Well, first things first, he admitted that it was a weird thing to say. But at the time, this was the first time in his life that he has felt that sort of betrayal. The Irishman then got weirdly introspective and emotional, saying that it was an unfamiliar feeling for him. Like, you build bonds with these people through Ryder Cups and other tournaments, so how could they just get up and jeopardize everything that they'd built up? It doesn't make any sense. To be fair to McElroy, though, you've got a feel for the man. He's here now, at the top of his game, but doesn't have some of his closest friends with him. And honestly, we get why he's upset. That being said, it's still business at the end of the day, and if he actually wanted to be with his LIV golf pals again, he could advocate to end their tour suspensions. After all, he's one of the most powerful PGA figures right now alongside Tiger Woods. On top of that, let's not forget that he's been one of LIV's harshest critics and even devised the plan of elevated PGA events to go head-to-head -head against the tour. Then again, he's a complex man and is allowed to feel more than one thing at once. Coming up, Mickelson refused is to comment on McElroy's statement. Speaking of a roller coaster of emotions, no one knows how damaging the limelight can be better than the good old lefty Phil Mickelson. For real though, he's been through it all, whether it's getting shunned for his gambling addiction or being forced into hiding after making some questionable statements. Like, remember when he pissed off both LIV Golf and PGA Tour at the same press conference? Yeah, that probably wasn't his best outing. But over the past couple of months, he's also turned a corner. For instance, he was one of the first people to pull out of the antitrust lawsuit against the tour, citing that he didn't have a personal vendetta against his former employer. What's more, he's been also singing praises of his fellow golfers on the other side of the fence. In fact, when asked to comment on McElroy's betrayal statement, he skirted around the question and decided to congratulate the Irishman instead. He said that it's a pretty great achievement to not only win the CJ Cup, but to also return to the number one ranking spot. That being said, he admitted that he doesn't want to be distracted by petty golfing feuds right now, as the majority of his focus right now is on the LIV finale in Miami. Still, he didn't rule out those conversations either as, according to him, there is room to have a dialogue about these broader issues once the Saudi league season comes to a close. Oh, and thankfully, we won't have to wait much longer for these talks, because we're literally heading into the offseason. What's more, Mickelson hails LIV Golf's impact. Whether you love it or hate it, the reality is that LIV Golf has had a pretty insane first season. Sure, they may not have attracted as many spectators as, say, a major championship. Still, for a competition that hasn't even kicked into full gear yet, it's been a mega year. Besides, with talents like Cam Smith and Dustin Johnson in his ranks, you can't say Greg Norman hasn't been successful with his vision. Oh, and guess what? Mickelson echoes those sentiments as well. According to him, it's been an incredible journey, especially considering where they were just six or seven months ago. Like, people were actually saying that the 
Saudi League's dead in the water and there's no chance of its survival. And to be fair, our previous experiences with these pop-up rival leagues also point towards this reality. For instance, Norman's own World Golf Championship idea was squashed and stolen by the Tour in the 90s, so you can't blame anyone for thinking this either. Having said that, Lefty thinks it's been even more successful than he'd thought. We mean, sure, survival is one thing, but to actually become a dominant force in the game? That's a whole other ballgame. And for the 52-year-old, it all comes down to the incredible talent they've got in their ranks. Bubba Watson, Cam Smith, Brooks Kopka, the league is beaming with top golfing stars, plus the fact that they're moving professional golf throughout the world and not just in the US, Europe, or Australia makes it all better. Now for Ian Poulter's reply to McElroy's comments. Alright, so Mickelson's been a sweetheart lately and doesn't want to upset anyone, which is why he refused to comment on the Irishman's comments. But, you know, who doesn't mince his words? Ian Poulter. Yep, the Englishman didn't like the tone of his former colleague's statement one bit. In fact, he went as far as to say that he feels offended by it. Speaking to the press at Doral before the big LIV finale, he said that he doesn't quite understand where the statement is coming from. Like, as far as he knows, he can still qualify for the Ryder Cup, so unless he's been told that Saudi League members can't compete in the 2023 tournament, he's more than ready to try to make that team. What's more, the 46-year-old said that his commitment to representing his nation in the Ryder Cup goes even before him, insinuating that McElroy's being very bold by assuming his loyalties, and he reiterated that he's always wanted to play in these tournaments. Besides, he's got as much passion as anyone else, making the whole betrayal thing even more confusing. Now, of course, Poulter's got every right to have a go at the Irishman, but at the same time, he kinda misunderstood the comments, cause we're not sure McElroy was actually talking about the Ryder Cup at all. He just presented it as a memory that he shared with them. Make no mistake, his actual feuds still with LIV Golf. Finally, Ian Poulter might struggle to get into the Ryder Cup. Even though the Englishman's ready to go and take part in the upcoming Ryder Cup, he might actually be barred from it, and no, we're not even talking about any official bans or anything. Apparently, Team Europe doesn't particularly like the idea of having LIV stars among their ranks. In fact, they've actually been scouting out other younger options for a while now. For instance, this year's Italian Open was a testing ground for selecting talent. After all, this is where Ryder Cup's also taking place next year. Also, McElroy's also said time and time again that it's perhaps time to move on from the old guard, since they haven't exactly been able to win many things lately. Plus, there are a lot of exciting young prospects coming through the ranks in Europe, like the Hodgegaard twins. So even if Poulter's name is actually on the list right now, we wouldn't start making bets just yet. And that's a wrap for this video, my friends. Do you think that Ian Poulter deserves to go to the Ryder Cup? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and please subscribe to our channel for more videos just like it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.